The crypto market crashed 30% and I bet you're feeling the pain. And while everyone else is losing, these signals help me make 20% profit without even knowing it. Bitcoin has been struggling to push above $74,000 for months and every push higher got slapped down as if you were playing against Shaquille O'Neal. Since Bitcoin got rejected and fell lower, every single altcoin dropped even further, some down over 50% in a matter of days. This altcoin reckoning has been disastrous for so many traders who suddenly became long-term investors. But the truth is that we've been making profits this entire time, and it's all thanks to the Better Crypto Signals. In today's video, I'm going to show you how the Better Crypto Signals rushed buy and hold performance over these past several months, especially during the most recent pullback, and how you can use these signals to profit from market volatility 100% hands-free. Here you can see the Better Crypto Signals in progress. They've actually been running for quite a while here, and I'm just showing you a couple of charts from the Better Crypto Signals running on my AllTrady account. You'll see moments like this, where we have this little yellow arrow right here. This is our buy order. It actually bought on the dip, if you can see that right there. Even though the price did bounce to 0.78%, it wasn't enough to hit our take profit target of 5%, which is what we use for the Better Crypto Signals. And as the price of Ethereum continued to tumble lower and lower, it's pre-programmed and ready to buy the dip. And that's exactly what it did here. And honestly, a really good buy zone. This arrow right here is showing us not just a great buy, but it's actually confirmed to support, 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 support for I think the next seven days days. That's incredible. These signals were back tested for performance from January 1st, 2021, all the way to August 2023. So the fact that these signals not only started on the dip and it was pre-programmed to buy the exact point where support would be for this chart is literally mind blowing. You can see we have an active order right here for 0.13 Ethereum at $3,070. This order is waiting and it's happily waiting because this is the strategy. We are waiting for more dips and we're prepared to buy the dip with the better crypto signals. And we can see we have an open target right here to sell 100% of the position at about a 5% profit. While this could close today, it could close tomorrow, next week, it doesn't matter because the whole purpose behind these signals is to be slow, safe, conservative. And one thing that's interesting about this too is that these signals are also prepared to keep buying if there is a real panic event. Now we haven't seen Ethereum back down to this level of 2267. But again, look at this. This would be a perfect place to buy some more Ethereum. And we can also see that it incrementally buys more and more as the price falls. But there's more to this. When we follow proper DCA strategy, in this strategy, we're only using 1 15th of the total possible volume for the first trade. That means we're only risking 1 15th of our total possible funds for this one trading pair. By risking only 1 15th of our total possible funds for this Ethereum bot, that means that we're going to be buoyed as the price goes down. But we haven't gone all in at $4,000 per Ethereum. We've gone in with just a little bit. And as it falls, we're buying a little bit more. And what will happen is that as the price falls, we are not risking our portfolio. We're actually hedging ourselves nicely by keeping the majority of our portfolio in stable coins. Let's look at a couple of other charts. Bitcoin Cash is actually an incredible chart for these signals. Mostly, I love the fact that we had a signal right up here at $500 and it closed in profit just before price fell down 25%. This is why bot trading wins. When you can use a strategy like this to take a motion out of the picture to have automatically predetermined buy and sell orders in place. You're not going to buy here and think, okay, this is the balance. It's going to go up to a million dollars. No, you're going to buy and sell and it's done. And by not buying here and having immense amount of drawdown of 25%, you're just safe and cozy in stable coins. Now you can see a new bot deal opened up right here. Right now we're currently at 3% in profit, but 3% hands-free and it bought on the dip, not this one right here, not this one right here, not this one right here. It knew to buy right there. It's hilarious because the price almost hit our take profit target. And I've seen this happen before several times. And I want to give you a little bit of comfort because this is 100% normal. This happens with bot trading when you use fixed targets. With all trading, I can edit this order. I can click here and it's going to bring up the trading widget. And now I can come here to my take profit target. And instead of it being 5%, now I can come over to the chart and I can actually 
actually drag it down just a little bit. I don't recommend doing this, but you'll notice that where it was before is just above $400. That might be a level of psychological resistance and it might be hard for Bitcoin Cash to break above that. I could sacrifice some profits for getting out of my position just by manually editing the trade just like that. Hit confirm, done. And now I've moved my take profit target from 5% to something more along the lines of like 4.5%. Now let's say that the price of Bitcoin Cash continues to dump. Well, I'm well prepared to keep buying Bitcoin Cash as the price goes lower and lower and lower because this is how hands-free bot trading works. Let's look at another chart. Maker has been on a pretty depressing downtrend ever since here in April, where we had a peak at 4,076 and it dumped all the way down 42% to 2340. Even though it had to spring back right there, you can see this is where the signals kicked in and started buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling. These are the kind of conditions that most of you probably wouldn't be able to sell. Let's zoom back to look at that right there. Most of you are probably looking at this as like, no, it's on an uptrend. Why would I want to buy here? But the thing with the bots and the signals is that they're going to run and they're automated. They're working off algorithms and calculations. They're not driven by emotions. They're not driven by bias. They're not driven by whatever people are saying on crypto Twitter. They're just going to run. The fact of the matter is that this is an excellent entry and exit, especially because it sells right near the top and it saves us from another 34% drawdown. Note that during this time period right here from the 21st of May all the way here to the 17th of June, I didn't interfere here. While the entire market is falling, you're still staying hedged in stable coins and you're weathering the storm while everyone else is crying and whining about, oh no, I bought up too high and I've run out of funds. I can't buy any more on the dip. This is why bot trading wins. This is why the signals are so amazing. And when we have a buy right here on the 17th of June, we have a pre-programmed buy at about 8% lower. And even though it went a lot lower than that, it sells on the bounce. You might've actually sold more around here, maybe around here. We all know the crypto dance right here and it's not a fun dance. But when we use DCA strategy, we can change our take profit targets. But for the most part, I don't touch them. I want this to run hands-free. Now we have another buy that's up here. Admit it doesn't look like that great of a purchase, but we're only 5% away from our take profit target. And if the price falls down again, we are well prepared to buy more at 2289, to buy more here at 1764. And if things get really bad, it keeps buying lower and lower and lower. By not risking everything for every single purchase, but scaling in slowly, we can take one of these entries and we can buy more when it dips. And notice this actually buy orders right at support. And then we automatically take profit on the bounce. But let's look at a couple of other trades, some of which have exhausted or getting close to exhausting their safety traits. And one of those is Uniswap. Uniswap has been incredible for trading, mainly because of all of this whippiness. Buying right here, having a pre-programmed buy right there and selling literally on the bounce. Like that's an incredible order right there. Look at that. Buy, sell, buy, sell. And now we are buying up at the top and the price goes lower and then the price goes lower, but it doesn't hit our next DCA order. But guess what happens? That red arrow is telling us it closes closed the position in profit. This position took about nine days to close. We have a buy right here just after selling. We have a pre-programmed order right there. Oh, look at that. That's a little bit painful. Just like with the take profit orders, I can click and edit this. I can go back here and I can drag up higher. And if I were paying attention and watching the charts and I saw that this happened in the wee hours of the morning, I could move my buy order up just a little bit from where it was. So that way I would get filled. And by filling my order right here, that means that when the bounce happens, I'm not going to be taking profit, which it already did, by the way. It closed the position in profit up here. It would have closed about down here and in more profit because think about it. We're buying a little bit and then twice as much and then twice as much as that. So we'd be putting in 7 15ths or almost half of the total possible volume into this one position. We have another trade right here in progress. And we got this one right here. And then now we're in this spot where we're waiting. Moving this additional DCA order right there is not such a bad idea. Just in case Uniswap has another dip down about 11% because this would be a logical place for another line of support. I still have another order down in the doldrums just in case things get really bad for Uniswap. I don't expect them to, mainly because we can see clearly that Uniswap has been trading in a pretty nice range right here. And I would expect that to continue going. But if not, we're prepared to buy the dip if it breaks out of this range to the downside. Really similar to Uniswap, this is Shiba Inu token or SHIB. And I love the volatility in this chart. And I also, so really love this order right here. A buy and another buy and another buy and another buy and boom, it sells. So we have
have our base order, safety one, safety two, safety three. This exhausts all the safety trade orders for the Shiba Inu tokens chart, or rather the settings. This is going to sell the full amount of volume possible for this trading pair, which means that we're going to be making a lot of money on the bounce, which happens on the chart. And we can see it chugging along, going over and over, buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling. Now we have a buy order. Here's safety one, safety two, safety three, and it's fallen further. What do we do? We just wait because Shiba Inu token has proven itself to be incredibly volatile, seeing drops of around 24%, even drops all the way here of 42%. Eventually, this token, SHIB, will pump up and this take profit target is very conservative. It's actually at support, which is wild. This chart for Filecoin or Phil has been doing a pretty decent job in this range. It purchased up here. So we have safety one, two, and three. So this actually has exhausted all of the safety trades. So now we are just waiting for a price to bounce. What do you do in this situation? If you've checked the data, which I share in the Better Traders Club in regards to these signals and the backtest performance, you know that eventually this is going to close. And we know that since it's using 15 fifteenths or the entire amount of possible volume for this one trade, our payday is going to be 15 times the initial investment of 1 15th. In this case, like the old saying goes, patience pays. Now, I want to blow your mind a little bit. These signals, for the most part, beat, buy, and hold, even in this short time frame that we're analyzing right now. When we look at the chart for Ethereum, when we started this signal, Right now, if we just bought and held Ethereum, we'd be down 6%, but instead we've made profit. For Bitcoin Cash, if we started and just held from up here, we would be down 24% in profit. Maker, we'd be down 19% profit. Uniswap, we would actually be up 18% in profit, but that's only a, one of these trading pairs compared to the rest of these that are doing much worse. Shiba Inu token down 35%, Filecoin down 28%. These signals beat buy and hold. So instead of just buying and holding, it makes way more sense to accumulate either more USDT or more of the coins themselves if you see value in them in the future. The signal performance are going to continue to outperform the market and pump out profits even during severe corrections. And as you spend more time running the signals, you'll see how well they handle volatile crypto markets, pump your bag safely, and do it all 100% hands-free. Head on over to thebettertraders.com and sign up to the signal tier in the Better Traders Club to get access to these signals now. And for those of you that are just getting started in crypto, watch this video to see exactly what I'd do if I were starting over from scratch. And until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.